Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about top 5 uh, fights to watch out for at UFC 305. And again, I think it's a very interesting card. The main card is awesome. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this one, to be honest. Um, I, I think UFC Vegas 95 actually was pretty dang good. Much better than people are going to give it credit for, but that's what people do. If you're not a big MMA fan, you're probably not going to enjoy that card. But if you like fights and you genuinely enjoy watching them, it was a good card. Um, so again, top five UFC fights to watch out for at UFC 305. Number five for me has to be Song Kanong versus Ricky the Gladiator Glenn. Now, I understand Gladiator Glenn, Glenn or Ricky Glenn is coming off of two fight finish streak in the first time of his career. Never been finished before then. Only has one win and that was three years ago against Joaquin Silva did look great in that fight. I went to a draw with uh, Grant Dawson, but again, hasn't won a fight since, uh, what is that? In 2019, or no, I'm sorry, 2021. Jesus, yeah, 2021. Sankanon, even though he's two and three in his last five fights, looked decent in the Kevin Josset fight. Actually showed some holes in Josset's, Josset for me personally. Um, but yeah, this fight right here is an absolute banger. It's gonna be a very, very good fight, and it is not going to a decision so that is number five 100 percent for me number five so again if you take a look at that card it's a very very good and really fun card uh another fight that is good i don't think it's a very high level matchup um i think it has to be tom nolan alex rays to, uh, tom nolan nolan obviously people know him mo mostly for the contender series and then coming to the ufc and getting kind of destroyed by Nicholas Amoda, got caught in that fight, came back and finished Victor Martinez. Didn't really look great early, but pulled it together and got a big, big win for uh, Tom Nolan. I'm a little bit less excited for him from for how it goes, for how hyped I was for him to come to the UFC, but Alex Reyes just isn't good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He has no wins in the UFC. I know he had a crazy like infection or something, Lost to Mike Perry six years ago and was destroyed by Charlie Campbell ten months ago. So this fight is not going to a decision. It's going to be really good. Either Alex Reyes is a punching bag or we see something a little bit different. The issue with Tom Nolan in this fight as well is that he's there to be hit. He's there to be dropped. That's the reality. Let's see what Alex can raise. Alex Reyes can do. So this has to be my number four really really good fight on uh, uh, two fights so uh next if you take another look at at the card um just a fight i'm really really excited for for one of the uh, women's fighters that i'm excited for and that has to be casey on the other versus luana santos luana santos coming off of that big big win against uh marina agapava she's not very good but it was three weeks ago one month since she's fought fighting Casey now who's on a two fight losing streak and one against Jennifer Maya and the other one and she got destroyed by Ariana Lipsky turns out to be an arm bar but she got rocked dropped and then finished it was a nasty finish by Lipsky she looked incredible in that fight and Luana Santos is opening up as a minus 150 favorite it's an interesting fight I, I'm it's really hard for me not to go Santos on this one but either way for this video uh, it's gonna be a barn burner and it's, an, it's one fight you cannot miss and that for me has to be my number three um, again all three of those fights that we have talked about are are really really good ones you know you of course you have Song Kanong there's Ricky Glenn second fight on the card so good after that you have Tom Nolan Ox, Alex Reyes not going to the distance, same thing with Song Kanan, Ricky Glenn, and then Casey O'Neill, Luana Santos. Oh, good googly moogly. At number four. At number, I guess it would be two. Oh, yeah, sorry. At number two, oh, everybody knows. Everybody knows. If you're a fan of this channel, if you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, no. But, you know how high a lot of us are in Carlos Paredes. Fighting the Leech coming back. It's been a while, a year and 10 months. It'll be about a year and 11 months. Or, I'm sorry, no. It'll be about a year, 10 months, and a week or so. But uh, 
Losing to uh, Daniel Rodriguez, which I actually thought he won that matchup. So he should be 20 and 7. Either way, fighting Carlos Paredes, who is unbelievable. This fight right here is absolutely not going to his scorecards. Because, again, if you look at it, he has 17 finishes, does Carlos Paredes. 17. Yes, he's been finished 5 out of 6 times. Alexa, off. Um, but, uh, yeah, 17 finishes with... 14 finishes for the leech. That's 31 combined finishes. This has to be your number two. Absolutely has to be your number two. At number one in this fight right here for me is unbelievable. It is the reason why we're tuning in. Obviously, you guys already know it. At this point, it don't really matter who wins for this video because... This fight is going to be vicious. It's going to be violent. Someone's getting finished. This is not going five rounds. There's, there's no chance this is going five rounds. It is such an unbelievable fight. I mean, even Dreyse's Duplessis, he has 19 finishes out of his 21 wins. 19. Yes, Izzy gives him a lot of shit because he, you know, he's in theater. He does all these things. He, he doesn't finish when he does all these cool things. 16 finishes. Israel Asani has 16 finishes, 13 and 3 in the UFC. Also, he has a win over Alex Pereira. Yeah, he did very well in the first one. He was dominating them. All right. Also, his losses are pretty damn good, if you ask me. Pretty damn good. But this has to be, has to be an unbelievable. 19 finishes to 16 finishes. Ooh -wee. Oh boy. This fight is not going five rounds. It is why we're all tuning in. And that is my top five fights to watch out for. Maybe a little bit more telling towards the top. If you know my, my thoughts on these fighters and all those things. But... This card's really good. I got a lot more videos planned. My predictions for those fights will come out here very soon, within the next couple of hours. Again, 305, you got you purchase it, save the money. You got about a week, make it happen. It's so good. There's so much history with Dan Rod, uh, Dan Hooker, Israel Adesanya training from the same spot with Dan Hooker. Jack Jenkins is on here. I think he's a bit overrated, but Jack Jenkins is fighting on here. You know, like I said, Song Kanong, Ricky Glenn. The card is so, so good, so fun. Kai Karafran, Steve Ursay, Tai Tuivasa, Jarzinho. Uh, I didn't pick Tai or Kai or Ursay or Jarzinho for the, for, for the showcase because it doesn't really improve. I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's reasons. But again, as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what your top five fights are to watch out for at 305. And if you're going to purchase it or if you're just going to sit the sideline, check the stream, listen to my commentary. I don't know. Let me, get, let me know, guys. Have a good one. Peace.